Today we talk about PHP 5 and how you use it in your own website. This is TQA Weekly. I'm your host, Steve Smith, aka Z Axis, and today's topic is listener submitted. And this person, who I've known since we were kids, is Giancarlo Capaz from Longay, Canada, who actually asked to learn PHP 5. So, I use passive programming. You can use active programming, and the difference is passive programming are sporadic codes within HTML, within a PHP program file that allow you to run various aspects of data that you want to receive. Whether you want to echo out information, include other pages within, or you just want to delete files or uh, entries in databases. I'll be looking at all these three aspects today. Ultimately, passive coding means you don't even need to exit out all the quotes, the single and the doubles, and all the periods or anything else that would otherwise be represented as part of code in PHP. Active coding, which means the whole file, would actually force you to exit out any time you wanted to use a quote, a period, or any other symbol that we use in PHP by having to put in a backslash. Actually, it's a forward slash. Sorry. Forward slash before it to keep the code from being confused. Well, eventually when you've put about 12,000 forward slashes and you're looking for a very specific quote, you're gonna get confused. So I prefer passive programming and I'm gonna be showing you passive code. This is very simple. In fact, it is the extreme basic level of PHP coding in PHP 5. They may very well work and probably actually do work in earlier versions of PHP. And here is the best part. It allows you for total website domination. Let's start off with the first set of commands, which will be the PHP include command. So how do we open up PHP? Well, it is lesser than bracket, question mark, PHP, insert code in between, and then you close with question mark and then the greater than bracket. These are the same brackets as HTML, by the way. Now that we've gone through that, everything else I'm gonna tell you goes in between these two, so don't worry. I'm just gonna tell you what goes in the middle. By the way, you can include all of that in the middle, every single one of these things. I don't suggest it, but go ahead. It won't break your code. So include, how do you do include? Well, include, wow, that was hard. Rounded brackets, so do both sides. Within, you can use either single or dual code. So, it's your choice. And then you add the name of the file you want to include. Now, this can be header.txt, header.php, footer.txt, footer.php. You can call it your mom's file.txt. I don't care what you name it, it just needs to have the file name. And this works within the same folder. Now, if it is in another folder, you're gonna have to use the whole folder tree from beginning to end to get to this. Now, if you're using a service like GoDaddy or Gator or whatever you wanna use, you just have to go into your control panel and we'll tell you what the tree is. And then you go into your FTP and you see the rest. Normally, it should look something like home slash php uh, public underscore html slash whatever folder sets you may have so some of us use include so it would be home slash actually it would be slash home slash public underscore html slash include slash name of file and you can use this to include a header footer sidebars other forms of common content advertisements anything you want as many times as you want just make sure that the file is where you says it is otherwise it will cause an error but who cares eh? as long as you do it right it won't bug out when you're on a web page and you want to actually greet somebody with the correct today's date 
What do you do? Yeah. You echo the date. So, echo, space, date, and within brackets, any quotes you want, single or double, as usual. Capital M. Unless you want to use the other form, which is capital F, which gives you the whole date. But capital M gives you the short text version. Hit space, put in a small d, which gives you the numerical value. Hit comma, and then hit space again and give you a capital Y to give you the actual four-digit year. And close the close. Close the bracket. And then hit that semicolon button and close the PHP. And this will include today's date. But what if you want to give the last modified date? You've got a website in university and you want the students to be referring to this page, but you want them to give the date that the page was last modified when they looked at it. Well, you just modify the way the date's being shown. So you can use that same info for the date that you, I just showed you, or you can use this. Echo space, quote again, last underscore modified colon space quote to close. This is text, by the way, this is not a command. Then you hit, after the quote, a space, you put a dot, period, basically, space, date, which is the command, space, open round bracket, open bracket, uh, quote, capital F, space, D, space, capital Y, space, capital H, colon, I, the small one, and colon, S, dot, basically the period, this time, then hit quote and then comma. That will give you, let's say in our case, the April 29th, 2012, at my current time, 12.54 a.m. 30 seconds, and that's the date it will show. Now, how do you modify this thing to show you only the last time the file was actually modified or uploaded? Well, after the comma, you insert another space, hit get, last mod, put open and close brackets, then close the master bracket, hit semicolon again, and this will give you the last modified or uploaded date of this page when it was basically last created or modified so that everybody can see it on the page. Now, of course, I did say I was gonna give you some sort of dark hack coding and it will come with a warning. Oh, well, actually, more like an explanation. One, this code is actually terminal based. Two, this code normally requires you to have super user or root access. And three, that means it may very well ask a password which you won't be able to input because you're gonna be in the browser. Because we are in the browser, this may very well not work. But of course, if this were to work, it would wipe out either your account or the whole server. So my warning is do this at home, do this on your own computer, in your own server or virtualized server. I use it to clean house on my virtual server, basically because I have another contract to do. So what is this command? Well, it is very, very simple, of course, depending on your version of Linux on your virtual server, it may or may not work. So have fun, may not work, doesn't matter. RM space, TAC, small r, small f, put that within brackets, well, within the PHP uh, beginning and end, run the file within your browser on your own virtual host or actual server in your own house at your own risk, and have fun. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, who cares? It was basically code that doesn't necessarily work because you don't necessarily have super user or root access or the ability to put in the password anyway. So next week we'll be talking about who is. Who is is something that is included within Linux normally and you can use it on various websites and it allows you to get certain types of information. I'll explain what it is, what it is used for, what or how it actually works and what this powerful and informative tool is supposed to be used for and the restrictions currently imposed on it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to TQA Weekly if you want more information like our show notes, our newsletter, how to get your own TQA Weekly branded gear and apparel, or how to get your own TQ, uh, TQA Android application on your Android phone. Head over to tqaweekly.com or .ca. Your choice. I have both domains, actually. So that's stay safe and online. Have a great day.